All right, guys, welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. So I'm whispering today because it's about 5.30 in the morning, and we're going to go meet with our new friends, Matt and Sarah, who live out here in uh, Japan. And we're going to go to a book-off store that they are very familiar with. It's one in the town of Tama, and and Matt said it's one of the biggest ones um, that has the biggest selection of used, old, sometimes great tennis rackets. Almost time to go. Before I get started um, taking off here, I want to just tell you a quick story. I've been coming here for probably 10, 11 years since 2012. Um, probably been out here eight times, uh, eight out of those 10, 11 years. And I used to always go past the store called Book Off. If you're in Japan, you know what I'm talking about. It's book and an OFF. I used to think that it was a, a book that's, I mean, a store that sells books. But I was watching a YouTube video about this guy who goes thrifting and he would go into these book offs and show literally used everything you could imagine. You could get golf clubs, golf bags, golf shoes, baseball gloves, uh, guitars, drum sets, uh, CDs, DVDs, video games, Apple uh, iPads, Apple watches. I mean, if you can, whatever you can imagine, they have it there in a used form. It's kind of like a a thrift store goodwill but a higher end version of it so one time i saw him he has no interest in tennis rackets he was just shooting a bunch of book offs and showing the new merchandise they have showing some toys and he glanced past literally a row of rackets he didn't stop though and I like rewound that part and I was like, that's a row of rackets. And I was like, um, I'm missing something here. There, there's a book off literally in every town or probably a couple of them in every town. I've walked past them. I've never stopped. So I'm like, hmm, the next time I go there, I'm going to go check out a book off. So with Matt and Sarah um, helping me out here, we're going to go to one of the bigger ones out here. Okay, so let's let's go meet Matt. Excuse me. Let's go meet Matt and Sarah now. I got to jump on a train and meet them uh, by their place. All right. See you in the car with Matt and Sarah. All right, so Matt, where are we going now? Now we are going to, we are in a city called Akishima. Now from here, it's about 10 miles, 11 miles to a city called Tama. Mm. Tama is where Harry, we're taking Harry to this um, uh, book of 
where presumably they are selling some used tennis rackets. And if you're lucky, we can find something really nice. Okay. Right? Nice. It's like a, I mean, depending on the day, sometimes it's like records over records, but sometimes they get sold out very quickly too. Like all the good stuff usually gets sold out, right? Yeah. But this season, it's not a tennis season. No. Oh. So I, I don't think that it'll be like empty shelves or anything like that. So how does a book off work? So do people True. donate the rackets or? Mm. Or do they buy it back? How does it work? Is it a trade bin program? They they trade. They trade. Yeah. It's interesting why would they trade at a book off? Because book off would give you a very little resale value mm -hmm. as opposed to an eBay or anything like that. Got it. I'm just guessing that somebody who is hard hard up for money, mm. who wants quick money and and or maybe they're moving. Or, they just or want moving. to get rid of stuff. Yeah. 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 Or, if, or, if, or if, you know, somebody may have, uh, you know, had to leave really fast and then right. somebody else had to clean up their mess. Yes. <laughs> yes. Or stolen. Oh, that's true. <laughs> that's true, too. We don't know. It's just don't know. But I just know that um, it's we sold a couple of our items. It's just the resale value is just almost nothing. Pennies on the dollar. Pennies on the it. dollar. Yes. <laughs> Are there things such as Goodwills out here where you just go in and just donate stuff? Well, we have a city yeah. where you can go and give it to the city and city in return has ah, a system. Like free? Yeah. It's a free giveaway? Yes. Yeah, we have. We do Timothy. Timothy is a site which uh, you apply, you register and uh, if, if you want to throw away something, cab uh, cabinet or like a chair, bed, you can just register and anybody wants what what about like clothing and sh old sh like shoes that are still wearable oh well, they have a lot yeah yes oh so so you could just can you just go in there and just donate boxes of stuff yes uh, oh. i think uh, they check first donate. right you, you don't i know you you have to keep it until somebody say hey i want i want to have it what <laughs> you just can't get rid of it <laughs> if you want to instant Throw away. Oh. Throw away. So in in the Japanese culture, mm -hmm. isn't buying used thing not really a a thing to do? Ask, <laughs> ask, ask that lady there. <laughs> it was like a forbidden thing for her before. Yeah, like we don't wear something else that somebody had. We don't use something else that somebody else had. What happened to the Japanese culture, Sarah? <laughs> They finally woke up as a human being. <laughs> they finally, their wallet finally woke up and said, "Hey, there's, there's not a lot here. Maybe we can save a little money." They, I think, well, one of the reason could be that the qualities and the quality of the stuff are not too bad. Right. And so that's, if it's too old, they don't buy from you. Exactly, the shop oh. doesn't buy from you. Mm. Okay. Yeah, so, it's the product over there is pretty good. So, so the, I mean, I guess in the Japanese culture, people respect their stuff. They take care right. of their stuff. Right. So even in a secondhand store or even in a used form, it's still going to be in pretty good shape. Yes. Otherwise, they'll be in a sale rack, which is like $1 sale rack if it's not in the best condition. Right. We're going to look for a person, a racket by the name of, name of Regna. Okay, so we just walked into the tennis department here in the book off look uh what the heck is going on here oh that's a brand new ultra what the heck how much do they want for that thing 240 so 240 that's a lot isn't it yeah it seems that's, like it's brand new that's 200 well 200 bucks. 200 bucks yeah so. that's a lot huh? that's a lot yeah. It's about 250 brand 250. new. Wait, I see an RF. Oh, RF. Oh, no, I don't. Oh, I do see an RF. Right. Oh, see? 200 bucks, essentially. That's in pretty Depending good condition. On the quality, That's not the, bad. Oh, look. Yours? Old. Yeah. It's, I like this one, though. It's kind of beat up. Right. That's why it's like 50 bucks. Uh, 40, 40 something bucks. Wow. Mm, that's the, <laughs> yeah. the, the thing, right? Oh wait, 
They got labor cup? What the heck? I never saw this. Now look, look at the price. So labor cup was only made in RF back at home. I've never seen a 97 LRF before. So that's a rare item yeah. and they look brand new. They look <laughs> brand, I got it, thanks. Look at that, that's brand new. That is brand new. What the heck? Okay, that's a labor cup, pro staff R, not even an RF, an L. What the heck? I actually never <laughs> knew about this record until today. <laughs> <laughs> so like back home, like I said, this was only made in the Roger edition. Mm -hmm. So the heavy edition only. Right. They've increased their prices here. Oh, inflation. Inflation. 97. Oh, here. Yeah, 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 look at all these. Ooh, blade. Hey, look, a blade special edition roll on Garros. 1600 $1,600. I've never seen that one either back home. This is, uh... just took me into my heaven here. It's been a while though. Interesting it's been a to while. See this, uh, head guards and... Yeah, there's a short side of that one. Is it? Be careful when you string that. <laughs> oh, yeah? <laughs> that 97 LS who've been wanting wow that's some pristine no oh, the graphite's pristine the guards a little chucked a little bit but uh, they have them here guys 97 LS LS in the house <laughs> This is crazy how much rackets they have. When the other one I was just one row and two rows. Mm -hmm. This is like ongoing. Um, anything on the Yonex side? Not too bad. Is there a Reyna? No. Ah! <laughs> okay, so here we are. AI 108. Is this, what is this? This is a regular E-Zone. This is a 100, 100 light, 98, 98. That's a new 98 right here. This is a new one. Like a festival going on here tonight. Oh man. Like all people. Do you think it's because of Christmas? People don't buy each other's used stuff for Christmas, right? So maybe they're against <laughs> <themselves. laughs> on 4.0 we don't have this in america yeah. not that for 4.0 and this is the kids section kids over there. here down to the bottom more kids
original pure drive the best one ever made oh yeah i say yes so what does something like that go for how much is that i can't read how Less much than ten dollars uh -huh. <laughs> yeah what <laughs> less than 10, 10 bucks. bucks wow all beat up oh if wow they have a good headset i mean the head guard will be just good enough yeah wow all it needs is a head guard right. actually wow what made you say that this was one of the best ones because so, of the original so this is the original um racket that they came out with like 22 years ago it's got the best feel because there's no um, dampening system here mm -hmm. and you could feel it all through into your handle mm -hmm. so if you don't put a dampener on there it's the best feeling racket they ever made i feel like they've um come back full circle and they're making a racket similar to this now mm. yeah because people, so the main complaint back then was, oh, I can't, you know, my arm hurts. It's the racket's, you know, giving me tennis elbow, right? So what did they do? They put a dampening system in here. Oh, so, and then the purists like myself, like now I can't feel nothing. Everything's muted. Yeah, yeah. So, so they got, that, that dampening system was called Cortex. But, ah, uh, yeah. Cortex. Oh, it was down there. Thanks. So are these rackets, these are just randomly put, right? There's yeah, exactly. no, randomly there's put. no, oh wow, look at it, R22. No, oh, I grew up with <laughs> R22. Oh, what the I grew heck? up with 27, so I didn't know. Oh, 27. This was in our time though, for sure. This was, was in our time. It was, yeah. yeah. This, this was Lover and Lover, right? Exactly. Yeah. Look at that, they want like five bucks for this thing. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. It was like back back my days it was like gold. Oh man. This was like the best racket back in the day. That's crazy. Catches What's your all time favorite racket? Yamaha. Secret four is what if I could find more of those. Oh, wait, I see a hammer. <clears throat> hammer 4 0, right here. Hammer 4 0 and a 1 8. Wow, that's super rare. That was from back in the day. Imagine you put all this in. Oh, Yamaha. There you go. What the heck? Pronto, Pronto O2. What in the heck? I've never heard of this. I got a skin disease. <laughs> <laughs> it did come off though. That's the thing about the skin is that it did come off. Um, With all the heat here. How much is this? Uh, I can't see. Uh, 15 bucks, so it's about 10 bucks. 10 bucks? Mm. Might have to get it. Yeah. <laughs> Might have to get that. Mm. I've never heard of this Pronto O2. There are a lot here. Oh. That one. I've seen a lot. Oh, wait, there's more Prontos here. Oops. There's. So here's a Pronto EX. You know what? Oh. You know what? What mm. this was? Mm. They in but America they called it secret. So uh -huh. so in America it's a secret EX. In Japan maybe it calls Pronto. Could that be possible? Well, 
I don't know. What this is, is the one who the Sabatini. Sabatini. Yeah. <laughs> yes. How much is this one? Same, 10 bucks. Is it 10 bucks. Wow. That's amazing that they, uh, that they call they call them something different here. Same the, color though, right? Same color. That's the weird, like, Pronto doesn't have a secret, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> There's another one right here. So tell me something, mm -hmm. since you're a coach, mm -hmm. how useful is this racket? Oh, still very useful, I would say. I don't know, for some reason, this, um, it's this easy. titanium? It's easy. It's very, very easy. Light yeah. and easy. Yeah. yeah. Wow, this model is still made in Austria. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. They diverted it to a material, the material is stiff. Itself, it's the stiffness really helps push the ball. Right. You know? Yeah, quite it makes well. It easy to play with. Yeah. It's a, definitely a game improvement racket right there. Right. The guy we saw at uh, my old club today, the mm -hmm. smooth player, yeah. if he had used this, it would really match his tennis as well because <laughs> he's not a big hitter, right? <laughs> right. So, they also have a smaller head version. TIS of this. 5. 5, right? Yes. I say you are and a very, bigger one, seven. Oh. <laughs> There's a, it's a bigger one. The strings come down all the way. The five ends here. So oh. yeah. So five. The, the, the so the, the, the less the number, the smaller it. The the this less is? the number, the the less stiff it is. Stiff. The okay. bigger the number, the stiffer the racket. And yeah. numbers are. Uh, TIS six. This one S six. Okay. Yeah, yeah. There used to be a whole line of them. It started with TIS 1, 2, and all the way up to 7. So, so 7 would be the stiffest. stiffest. Stiffest, most powerful, biggest. Biggest, right. Too. Yeah. You don't know this. That is still the number one selling racket in the nation for non specialty. So Meaning? they sell a million of those a year. Yes. Today? Today. Because they sell them at Big Five. They sell them at the, oh, the big box stores, oh, oh, oh. And, and they're like seventy nine ninety nine. They're seventy dollars in that realm. So you basically buy one of these, you take it out, and you're ready to play. It's already strung, mm -hmm. right? Ready to go. Mm -hmm. So and you buy them at the local store mm -hmm. now, just like I did my wooden racket. Ah, you know? uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So very user friendly, right? Easy, easy for for your housewives. Perfect. Uh, everything was $1.99 and then Babylon came to town and said, oh, um, we'll price ours at $1.79. Mm -hmm. So everybody had to follow suit and drop their prices or maintain because Babylon was the new player on the town. They didn't take them seriously in the beginning. And then when they took off, everybody was like, oh, crap. So they basically delayed the increase of the pricing of the rackets for, I want to say 20 years. Less than that. Yeah, about 20 years. Because the, the ceiling was always $200 in America. And not until maybe five, six years ago did they start in, inching it up to mm -hmm. 210, 220. Mm -hmm. Now it's at about 250. Woo. Yeah, 250, uh -huh. 260 now. So. Like the new gravities will be 270. The feds now 299, um, 279 for pro staff. It, it's um, it's it's gone up now. You remember Prince Boron? Oh, $300, 399. <laughs> yeah. But that was the anomaly, though. Anomaly. You, you you don't expect to sell many of those. Exactly right. right? So. That's that's yeah. But is there any record around 300 or more in the U.S. right now? The Fed racket was 299. And then the Yonex Astros were um, $2.99 also for a little, a short period of time. I think they realized they couldn't sell it for $300 mm -hmm. and then they dropped it back down. What's the most uh, selling record in the US market right now? It's between Babylon Pure Drive, Babylon Pure Arrow, and uh, the Clash. The Clash Regular 100, Wilson. Wilson. Yeah, those are the top three rackets in the. Uh, in sales. It'll be in Europe. In Europe would be more than stuff, right? Uh, I think it, I think Babylon dominates the world. Oh, Babylon yeah. and, and Wilson dominates the world. You heard of uh, Vocal? Yes. Yeah. Totally. How, um, how do they you... don't do too well. Uh, mm -hmm. They're probably number five, six in the world in terms of a brand. 
Yeah, they, they haven't really promoted or uh, gotten a, a top ranked player in a while. Right. So. That's uh, Sebastian Porter's father used to use. Right, right, right. right. And, then, and also Martina Hingis. It was him and Korda that were the oh, faces. Hingis too? Mm -hmm. oh, I thought she always used Yonex. Okay. Before Yonex, she was the face of uh, Vocal. Vocal, right? Yeah. Oh. yeah. Which country is that? Not Swiss, right? It's Aust Austria. Austrian, I think. We got bags. There's some older bags here. Ooh. Old Fed bag right there. What is that? Yonex bag there. We even have shoes here that are slightly used or used. Wilson! Wilson! I guess that's it for shoes. Wilson. Wilson. All right, so what a great time I had today exploring with both Matt and Sarah, um, along with my family. We went to some great, great places. I wanted to show you what we got at the book off in Tama. So Tama, Japan is actually the home of Pora Land, also known as Hello Kitty Land too. Uh, we didn't go there this time around, but we have been there. And if you're a Hello Kitty fan, definitely gotta go. It's actually not that far from Tokyo. It's like two to three train rides away, maybe an hour, 45 minutes to an hour away if you take the right trains, okay? The rapid trains will get you there faster. Now, I wanted to show you what I bought from the, uh, the book off there. So I got a Yamaha, and this, they call it a Proto here. I guess I keep calling it Pronto at the store because I'm a little illiterate there. So this is a Proto EX. Back it at home, this was called Secret. So I don't know if they can't use the secret name out here or I guess Prototype or Proto, yeah, Prototype. And Secret is essentially maybe the same name. Uh, I'm not 100% sure of that, but Every time I, I point this racket out to somebody, first thing that they remember, Gabriella Stabatini. Yeah, she was the famous one that swung this one around. So this was actually a flexible racket in their line, kind of like a player's racket from uh, back in the day. I did get a four and a quarter, and it cost me like 13 100 yen, which was essentially $10 US. Yep. So it is used, okay? It is a secondhand store, so it is used. Um, and strung with a synthetic gut. So I'm going to take it home and mess with it, make it my own. The other thing I found was the Yamaha Proto O2. This to me feels like a secret four. Uh, I'm noticing a couple things now that I got it back is that look at this thick throat here. And then as you see it tapers as it comes up to the top. I got to check my secret four I, or, and my secret six. I think the, my rackets are straight beam not a taper. So this must be some type of a different racket that wasn't sold in America. But, you know, I won't know until I get back. And this is also a four and a quarter. Made in Singapore. Made in Singapore. Manufactured Yamaha in Singapore. Famous Yamaha symbol. So, 1300 yen too. 10 bucks. <laughs> 10 US dollars. Both of these, $20. I was kind of blown away by that. I mean, you could have easily, you could have easily, um, like, 
bought other things there. They had a brand new Ultra, as I showed you. They had those Laver Cup Pro Staff 97 L's in blue, which I was a little surprised at seeing. I've never seen that before. I kept going back to those rackets. If they weren't like 200 bucks, I would literally have bought them. And they were both like pristine, pristine condition. Pro Staff 97Ls. So, hey. Um, so that was my first book off experience uh, that Matt took us to. So, hey, <laughs> I'm happy. I'm very happy. So if you want to check out tennis, check out Japan in the Tokyo area, check out, um, contact Matt and contact Sarah. They're a husband and wife couple. They do guided local tours. Matt can give you a lesson. Sarah can take you around Japan, whether it be on a tennis tour or shopping tour or whatever you'd like. I'm going to put a link to their contact information below. And hey, check them out because you don't want to be like me the first couple of times I came out here. Lost all the time, taking the wrong trains, going the wrong way. Because um, it's not that easy. So check them out and they will literally save you a ton of time, save you a ton of money and show you a great time. Whether it be for tennis or whatever your leisure or pleasure. Alright, guys, thank you for watching Tennis Spin where we put our spin on your tennis in Japan. All right, guys, are you looking for a coach, a pro? I know it's been super difficult looking for somebody out there to teach you. I'm in the game myself, and it's super difficult to find somebody to, you know, teach you, somebody to hit with. Um, we know that the number one reason why people give up the game is because they can't find anybody to play with. And now you can't find anybody to teach you. Well, this is where play your court is going to give you a hand. All right. Check out play your court. They have professionals. They have hidden partners. They even help you set up a game. The resources are there for you to keep you in the game of tennis. Go to playyourcourt.com forward slash tennis spin and get your own personal discount from me. Link is below. Stay in the game, guys.